It's been seven years since workers began construction of the American Indian Cultural Center and Museum in Oklahoma City. But funding issues have prevented its completion. Now a legislative panel is looking into proposals to come up with the money needed to finally finish the long delayed project. Construction on the American Indian Cultural Center and Museum ground to a halt more than two years ago when funds for the project ran out. State Senator Patrick Anderson has opposed previous efforts to provide additional state dollars to complete the facility but did request an interim study to explore ways to get the project moving again. We have, cannot ignore the fact that we have a half completed museum project that's out there. We need to find a, a way to get to completion and to find a path and I'm hoping that we can uh, pursue some other alternatives, some other options. A plan to take 40 million dollars from the unclaimed property fund to be matched by 40 million in private donations died in the House last session and lawmakers have shown little appetite for another bond issue to finish construction. State Auditor and Inspector Gary Jones told the panel there are alternatives. We were kind of perplexed in the fact that only one option was, was considered. And we think that at this time there are other options that are available and that, that the other options uh, may have been better than what was chosen 30 months ago. A performance audit conducted two years ago by Jones' office offered six options going forward. Those include providing additional legislative funding, either through direct appropriations or issuing bonds, phased implementation, finishing construction but bringing exhibits in later, scale back their remaining construction, discontinue funding and operations, transfer management to another state agency, and modify or transfer ownership of the center. Another option was that you form a trust authority with either Oklahoma City or Oklahoma County and then let them take control of the project. At that particular time, they could have borrowed the additional money uh, you know, through their trust authority to finish the project. The city of Oklahoma City um, certainly wants to see the project completed. Um, I don't think they want to take on the, the, the costs of the construction to complete the project, um, but the possibility may be there for the city of Oklahoma City to operate the facility once the construction is completed. Jones suggests state money may not be needed as long as private funds are available what would have to happen is to go back to those donors and say we have an alternate plan and would you contribute to that alternate plan and ultimately still get the same objective. If you, if you did that, you would ultimately end up with the same objective. The only difference is, is that it would be done with private funds as opposed to $40 million more of state money. Cultural Center Executive Director Blake Wade doubts that idea would be acceptable to private donors. I appreciate his nice words, but again, what he was thinking is we could go ahead and use the donor money and then see if we could get more state dollars. That's not the way we, we're going to do business. Each dollar has to be accounted for before we're going to ask the pledge people to come forth, and that is the state's done their part. Wade also rejects the idea of phasing in the remaining construction. That is the worst way to do business. And I do know that if that's why we want to finally complete it and, if we, and they talk about phasing again, well that would be eight, seven, eight years and the price just keeps raising. One option for completion could involve the approximately $153 million Oklahoma Indian tribes pay each year to the state from gaming and tobacco revenues. While most of that money is allocated to education and various health programs, a portion goes directly to the state's general revenue fund. Is it feasible that this money could be used to, or could the legislature could designate this towards the construction of the Native American Cultural Center? Well, as they are deposited in the general revenue fund, their legislature is free to spend it however it sees fit. Anderson intends to file legislation next session to redirect about $28 million in Indian gaming and tobacco money and use it to finish construction of the Cultural Center and Museum.